Hey guys, if you're in the market for a truck camper, you definitely want to stick around because we found some awesome truck camper floor plans and the last one in this video is going to blow your mind. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I create tons of content about RVs from videos to blog articles, you name it, we do it. And we invite you to sign up to our newsletter that comes out every single week. So you'll get all of our videos and blog articles delivered right to you. And when you sign up, you'll also be subscribed to a free subscription of RV Today e-magazine. So you'll get eight of those a year, you'll get our weekly newsletters, and you'll be the most well-informed RVers on the road. But without any further ado, let's get started with our review of awesome truck camper floor plans. This truck camper is the Lance model number 1062. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,424 pounds, measures in at 20 feet long, and it can sleep up to four people. When you first walk into this truck camper, on your left-hand side is where the bathroom is located. On the right-hand side, we have the dinette area. Finally, on my right, we have the kitchen, and then just behind me here is where the overcab bed is located. Our first impression of this truck camper is that it feels really big and wide in here. And a big reason for that is because it has mostly opposing slides opposite one another. The dinette itself slides on out and the kitchen area slides out on the other side. And so it creates a very nice roomy feel in here. Now, the first thing you'll note here is the dinette located here on the right side. I would say four people could easily sit at this table and enjoy a meal no problem at all. You'll also notice behind me and beside me, there are a couple of windows. This one actually opens up so you can close your shade or your blinds and have a lot of light coming in with a screen in place. Now the dinette table does drop down and create another bed in here. And let's see how much space you'd have if you did that. You would end up with about 67 inches by about 46 inches wide. So average size adult, maybe a couple of small kids would be able to sleep on here very, very comfortably. In addition to that, there are pull-out drawers under each of the dinette booths that fully extend for all of your storage. Now, just beyond the dinette in here, there is this countertop with cabinet area above for additional storage. Down below here, there's also a receptacle, two USB ports, and a 12 volt plug. So whether you're working at the dinette or if you just need a place to charge up your electronic devices, this is a great spot to do that. Now down below here, there are a bank of three drawers that fully extend for even more storage. Directly across from the dinette is where the kitchen is located. And there are some really cool features here. If we start up top, You've got a microwave oven here. There is a little cabinet on the side as well. It's almost like the depth of a medicine cabinet. So you could use it for spices and maybe some canned goods and things like that could fit in here. Over top of the kitchen sink, we have two cabinets here that are pretty spacious and wide open. And then on the kitchen area itself, this is a really big, deep countertop space. I like it a whole lot. There's plenty of room in here. You've got this light fixture underneath window over top of the countertop to get your natural light in here and there's a receptacle up here so if you want to plug in any of your kitchen appliances that's a great place to do so you'll also notice on the back of this countertop that we have a trash can location perfect place if you're working here you can just throw things right in the trash can then we have a very nice sized single bowl sink with a beautiful go uh, gooseneck faucet with a sprayer and then next to that We've got a three burner propane range, and you won't believe this, but these truck campers are really, really outfitted well. You have a real oven down below. Now, just next to the oven is a couple of drawers that will pull on out so you can stow away your kitchen ut utensils. And then underneath of your kitchen sink, there's a large storage area there too. Now, directly across from the sink is where your refrigerator and freezer are located. Now this is an absorption style refrigerator that runs off of your propane tank or it can run off of shore power. But you have a nice big freezer up top, plenty of room in the fridge down below. 
Now here I am in the over cab section of this camper, which is where the bed is located. And let's see what size mattress we have here. All right, so this baby's about, whoa, 80 inches long and the width on it is 60 inches wide. And so this would be considered a residential queen size mattress in here. Now on my left hand side, you have this really nice wardrobe closet here with a bar up top so you can hang all of your garments in there. On the back of the wardrobe cabinet, there is an electrical receptacle there. So you can plug in anything here while you're in bed that you would need to. Finally, there's a little door here that lifts up and there's even more storage under there. And then as far as windows go, there's one on this side, one on the other side. So you can get a nice cross breeze. And there's also a skylight that opens up here as well. So lighting and airflow in here is no problem at all. Now you'll notice over my head on both sides, there are some nice reading lamps here for you. So you can read at night before you drift off to sleep. And then on this side, there's a little bit of a, uh, a side shelf here and a little drawer that opens up for storage. This is a brand new camper. So all the drawers are still really, really stiff. Now, just ahead of that, there's this open storage area. And then there's also a receptacle with USB ports and a 12 volt plug as well. Now the TV mounts right here, which is in a great spot in this camper. Number one, you can swing it out and watch TV while you're in bed at night, or you can swing it the other way to watch TV from your dinette area. And then below the TV, we have two open storage cubbies and all of your radio controls. Now here I am inside of the bathroom, which is just inside the entry door on the left when you walk into this truck camper. This is what's considered a dry bath. So it's got a separate shower from the toilet and vanity area in here, which is a major plus in our opinion. Uh, we've stayed in campers with wet baths before and I don't know, not our favorite thing, but uh, for some folks, you know, hey, it works. But this has the dry bath, which makes it very, very convenient. Now, standing in this shower, it's a smaller size shower, that's for sure. But there's still plenty of room in here to be able to take a shower and be comfortable. From the shower base up into the skylight, gosh, we have about six feet, seven inches of of height in here. So you, for you taller guys, this is not a bad setup. Now they've also got a hanging rod in here. So if you have wet items that you need to hang up and dry, they can drip right into your shower base. Now, one thing they've done is they have put a shower curtain in here. And I'm not a big fan of the shower curtains, as you know, but they have this bar that swings out and away from the shower. So that does help create a little bit more space in here. If it were me, I, um, I guess I would do the same thing. You really can't put like a retractable shower door in here because the toilet does come over the edge of the shower base. So it's really impossible to put any kind of door. So I think a curtain is the only option that they had to make this work. Now, outside of the shower, you have a nice towel bar here. You have a medicine cabinet up above with a few shelves built in. And then you have a towel ring here receptacle over top of your kitchen, or I'm sorry, your bathroom vanity sink. And then there's a little bit of storage down below that. Now in the same wall that the vanity is located, there are these couple of doors with some little storage compartments behind them that you can stow away things like, I don't know, toilet chemicals, extra TP, all that kind of stuff. Now here I am sitting on the commode and even with the door shut in here, it feels roomy enough because this is a really good size bathroom. I mean, I can pass the elbow test on both sides. Now, outside of this truck camper on the back, you have these two storage bins on either side of the door. Plus there's one in the center here under the step. And then finally, there's this large drawer that pulls on out of here, which is a really great feature for storage. And there's one more storage compartment around the side, which is really a wet bay, but that's where the outdoor shower is located. This truck camper is the new Camp Cirrus model number 920. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,419 pounds, a length of 20 feet 2 inches, and it can sleep up to three people. When you first walk into this truck camper, on your right hand side is where the bathroom is located. Just across from that, we have some cabinet space. Then we get into the kitchen and living area, and finally at the front of the camper is where the bedroom is located. Now, our first impression of this truck camper is that it looks really nice and open in here. And for a truck camper with no slides on either side or on the back for that matter, it's really got a lot of space. And I think they did a fantastic job 
designing the layout in here and trust me you're gonna love this dry bath when you see it now when you first walk in on your left hand side there's a large wardrobe closet here you can hang up all your garments in here and then there's a nice pantry cabinet here with plenty of shelves built in for your kitchen area and then finally below that there's another nice big large full extension drawer that comes out you can stow away plenty of gear inside there now as we get into the kitchen area I really like this setup uh, everything is in one line and you have a decent amount of countertop space and wait till you see this sink but starting up top we have three really nice big cabinets up here there's some built-in shelves on these two cabinets for storage and then on the right hand side is where your microwave oven is located down below here you can see we have some receptacles and usb ports in the corner so if you want to set up some kitchen appliances in here like your toaster or coffee pot perfect placement and you can plug them right in also you'll note behind the countertop we have this nice big window to let in lots and lots of natural light i really like this cutting board sink cover very nicely done and wait do you see this sink i mean that baby's huge nice and deep i mean this is one of the deepest sinks i've ever seen and that thing's about 10 inches deep so plenty of room for doing all your pots and pans and i mean you could really stack up some used dishes in there before you really ever have to wash them now your gooseneck faucet here comes with an integral sprayer so you can clean up all nice and neat and then this has a two burner induction cooktop here i really wish that they would take these burners and turn them sideways so you would have a front and back burner and get some even more countertop space in here but all in all i think you do have enough space and this works out really well now this is a big surprise in this camper down below the cooktop this has one of the biggest ovens we've seen in any of the rvs we've reviewed here at the hershey rv show most are smaller you can only have one oven rack not two but this one has two i mean this is a fantastic size oven so next to that, we have some more storage underneath of the kitchen sink and plenty of it down there. And then next to that, you've got a bank of three drawers that you can use to stow away all of your kitchen utensils. Now, I feel like this truck camper is really designed for foodies because you got everything you need here in this kitchen. And this refrigerator is no exception. This is a gigantic refrigerator for a truck camper. I mean, this thing's huge. And it's also a 12 volt fridge. It's got a separate freezer and refrigerator, plenty of room inside of here. Everything runs off of your battery. Or of course, when you're plugged into shore power, that powers your battery and everything runs on that. So the dinette here um, comfortably fits two people. I feel like the tabletop is a little low for my liking. I wish it was a couple of inches higher because my knees you know, are just about hitting the bottom of the table. But Nonetheless, two people could sit here very, very comfortably and enjoy a meal. Plus, you have this big, giant window here that lets in lots of natural light or fresh air. Above that, we have this open storage area with cargo netting to hold things in place. They have this nice light strip below that shelf to provide additional light in here. And there's even a speaker back here so you can enjoy some music while you're in your dinette or living area however you want to use this now this dinette table will drop down and create another bed in here and if you do that you would end up with a sleeping space that is about 67 inches by we'll call it 36 inches and so an average size adult or certainly a kid would be able to sleep in this spot very easily i also want to pull out on point out that on each end of the dinette booths there are a couple of doors that you can open to access storage under the booths but you could also lift up the seat cushions and access that area that way as well so a couple other items that susan and i look for in dinette areas because if you use your dinette as like a little workstation or to you know set up your computer to do some internet research or trip planning or whatever you're doing uh, you might need a receptacle or a USB port at least. This dinette has both. There are two receptacles located below the table that you can plug into, and there are USB ports on each corner of the dinette to charge up all of your electrical devices. So here we are in the over cab portion of this truck camper where the bedroom is located, and I'm laying on this nice, big, comfy bed in here. I'm pretty sure this is going to end up being a full-size queen, but let's confirm it to be sure. 
Let's move some pillows out of the way here. And yep, we have 80 inches by 60 inches wide. So this would be considered a residential queen size bed in here, which is fantastic, especially for some of you taller folks, you know, that need the extra length. Now on my left hand side here, you'll notice there is a cabinet above with some open storage and then also a flip up cabinet for some additional storage there. And this hardware in here is really, really, you know, pretty, pretty st <laughs> sturdy stuff. It's kind of hard to open these doors, but they're very nice hardware. They have soft touch clothes, doors and drawers. So it's a very nice setup. Now there's also a wardrobe cabinet in here where you can hang up all of your garments. And of course the wardrobe um, cabinet is lighted up. I think they should have put the bar a little higher. It's kind of a little low in our opinion, but hey, you could always move it yourself, piece of cake. On the side over here, there's a couple more drawers that you can pop up for additional storage. And there's even a little cabinet up front here. There's a nice window on both sides of the bed. So you get plenty of light in here and some cross ventilation. And then the front window here in the cab at my head also opens up for even more sunlight to stream on through here. Now, just below this big window is a little cubby area back here. So you can store some things up here as well, but uh, they did a really nice job. They put a receptacle, a couple of USB ports, and even a 12 volt plug up in this area too. So you can charge your electronic devices while you're sleeping at night also. There's also a reading light on each side. So you wanna do a little reading in bed. You won't disturb your partner too much. Now on this side of the owner's bed, you'll notice that there's another cabinet up here in the corner, plus two more along the side that you have for additional storage. And there's even a third one in front of the TV location that you can use. And then there are two drawers up top, plus some open storage. Now your TV does mount on the wall back here, so you can easily watch TV while you're laying in bed. Um, in this particular camper, the mounting bracket that they're using isn't big enough to be able to swing the TV so you could see it from your dinette area. So if, there were, if this were my camper, I'd be swapping out the mounting brackets so you can roll that TV around and see it from that location too. So that way, if you wanna use your dinette as your living space, you know, you can do that also. Now here I am in the bathroom and this is a really big bathroom for a truck camper, especially for a truck camper that doesn't have any slide outs. They just did a great job maximizing every single square inch of floor space in this model. This bathroom shower that I'm standing in is huge. I mean, this is as big as a shower stall that you would find in a 30 foot travel trailer in a fifth wheel, uh, lots of other RVs that are out there. So man, what a great design. Now the shower in here uh, has a nice shower head up top. It's not built on a wand, it's a fixed shower head. And that's pretty unusual because most of the time we're seeing detachable wands. So you can use it however you need to and you're not stuck trying to spin around with a shower just shooting water on you. But this bathroom is big enough that you could certainly do that. Now the shower door itself is on a nice retractable shower door. So that's fantastic instead of using a curtain. And let's check out our ceiling height in here while we're at it. Now, you guys know that I'm 5'11". If this skylight was closed or vent lid was closed, you would have, gosh, about six feet, seven inches of headroom inside of here. The normal headroom th throughout the entire truck camper, or at least through the dinette area, is about six feet, seven inches. And then you're always going to have short headroom in the over cab. But, you know, for you taller folks that are looking for a truck camper, there, this has really good ceiling height in here. Now, I do want to point one more thing out. Let's say you're taller than 6'10". This is actually all the way open. I mean, you could, st <laughs> you could stand up here and your head would go through this skylight so you could take a shower if you wanted. But the point is, you can open this up, get plenty of fresh air. It does have a screen that you can pull across. It also has a shade that you can pull across if it's too bright outside for you. So just outside of the shower, it's still a really nice sized bathroom. Just to my left, there's a medicine cabinet above. Then you have a nice big oval mirror here. And then finally, a very nice vanity setup, very stylish with some countertop space here. There's also a receptacle located here so you can plug in a shaver, curling iron, hat, whatever you need. And then down below the sink, there is additional storage as well. 
So here I am sitting on the commode in this bathroom and it's a little tight on the left hand side, but it certainly works. When the door is closed, I don't feel claustrophobic or anything. And as far as the elbow test goes, no chance on that side, but plenty of room on my right. So here we are outside of this truck camper and I wanna point out some storage that's out here for you. On each side of the truck camper, there are some small storage compartments for your camping gear. But on the back bumper, there are these really nice heavy duty metal storage compartments for plenty of your camping gear. And finally, one last thing to point out is that the rear awning and the side awning are standard features on the new camp truck campers. This truck camper is the Host Yukon, model number 11.6. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,955 pounds, a length of 19 feet 3 inches, and it can sleep up to five people. When you first walk into this truck camper on the left hand side is where the theater seating is located. Then we swing on around into the dining area, entertainment area and kitchen. And behind me here is where the bathroom and bedroom are located. Now our first impression when we walk into this truck camper is if we were going to buy a truck camper, this is the one we would buy. It is incredible in here. For a truck camper, it's nice and big and spacious and roomy. And we have a Class A RV, as you know, and so we're used to big spaces. But this truck camper certainly delivers when it comes to maximizing the space. And they do it in a few different ways, and we'll review those as we go through with our video tour. But as I mentioned, on the left-hand side here is where your theater seating is located. And these are very, very comfy seats. You can chillax here, take it easy, kick on back, recline. I mean, they're great seats. And then right behind where Susan is standing is where the TV is located. So you have a perfect view of your TV from here. And also, host will go ahead and install USB ports or receptacles because they do some custom options for their customers. Most customers, in fact, order these to be built and then they have them delivered. Turnaround time right now is about two or three months. But what a great camper this is. And you can get your features added as you want when they build it for you. Now, above your theater seating is, you know, a small bank of cabinet doors here that you can use for extra storage up top. And then one other thing I want to note about these chairs is they are loaded into a slide out. And so this slide out bumps out to the back of this truck camper because it has a side door entry. And so that does create more floor space in here at the same time. Now, just beyond where these theater chairs are located is this gigantic open window here. Now, it's not open, but it's a gigantic window that you can look out and enjoy the beautiful view. We happen to be right next to a lake right now, and it is a nice view out there for sure. But I've not seen a window this big in pretty much any RV, much less a truck camper. Uh, but it certainly does make it feel light and bright and spacious and roomy in here. There's no doubt about that. Now, as we swing on around, this is where the dinette is located in here. And it comes with a lagoon style table. So you can move this around and sit down here and enjoy a nice meal. You can still see the TV from here. It is on a swing arm, so you can pull it out a little bit to better, better suit your needs. But I also wanna point out that this area, which includes part of the bathroom, is also in a big slide out. So that creates even more room in here as well. And there's also an option here where instead of having your dinette here, you can get a washer and dryer plus cabinetry built around the washer and dryer for you. If you do that, you would just take your lagoon table and use it on your theater uh, seating chairs. And that way you have your dinette and your theater seating all in one place and you have a washer and dryer built in here, which we would probably do that option because we're on the road eight or nine months a year, and it's very, very convenient to have a washer and dryer on board. One other item to note is that there is also a electrical receptacle down below this dinette. So if you're working at your dinette or doing some trip planning or what have you, you can plug in and charge your computer, phones, whatever else you need. I also wanna point out that the black tank is located under this dinette and it is in the slide out, which helps to give them a lot more storage underneath of this truck camper with the black tank being built into the slide out here. So the tank size is in this, I don't have them memorized, but it's like 65 gallon fresh water, 
uh, approximately a 40 gallon black and about a 35 gallon gray. So you, this is really built for being able to do some boondocking or off-grade camping as well. I also want to mention too while we're here is that this all has aluminum frame construction and so um, it'll last for a long time. It's a lot lighter since it's not built with wood. It's just a really great way to construct a trailer. Now, once we get past the dinette area, this is where the entertainment center is located. Up top here, you know, you have some controls up here. Your panel box for your uh, circuit breakers are up here. Below that, you've got a nice size TV, and then you've got your radio and speakers here. There's even a couple of USB ports if you want to plug something in and keep it charging here. And then finally, we have a fireplace down below. So here we are at the kitchen area. And as you can see, you have a lot of space in here. Now, starting from the right-hand side, you've got this pantry door that's in or pantry cabinet that's in here. They will uh, make uh, adjustable shelves and you can uh, put those in here as well so you can adjust how you store things. Down below, you have another cabinet here. And then they have an extended top here on the end with a receptacle underneath of it. And that's a really smart idea. That way, if you need to set up a blender, or coffee maker, whatever, you can plug in right below. So very good design there. Now up top, uh, two big cabinet doors with plenty of storage in here. And then they have a convection microwave here. So that is great. You can bake or microwave in your RV as well. Down below here, they have a it's, you know, it's a, it's a nice top. I wouldn't say it's granite, but it does have granite particles in it. And I love the way it's just a single mold, which goes right into the sink. You get a really nice, big rectangular sink bowl. Plus you have an upgraded sink faucet with a sprayer. Now behind here, you've got plenty of room. Plus you have a window up top. They did a nice job adding some backsplash on the sides. And then you also have a two burner propane stove here. This can be swapped out for an induction cooker top if you prefer. Down below that, you've got a drawer here for all your kitchen utensils, more storage down below, and there's even some storage under the kitchen sink. Now just past the microwave and cooktop is where the refrigerator is located. This is a very, very good size refrigerator for this truck camper. I mean, there's plenty of room in here. The freezer is really large. So uh, you can store your ice in there, throw some frozen pizzas in there, whatever you need to do, you have plenty of room. Now, this is the third slide out in this one. The first one's with the theater seating. The second one's for the dinette and part of the bathroom. This third one is for the kitchen area. So from the refrigerator over, this all slides out and creates even more space in here. And I'm pretty sure this is the only truck camper on the market right now that actually does three slide outs. So if you're looking for maximum space, this is a great unit to consider. Now, just across from where the refrigerator is located, you have these pantry cabinets that are here and they're not that deep. They're maybe eight inches deep or so, but they do have adjustable shelving in here. So you can stow away all of your food items and you have even more storage down below. So you have a total of four doors with adjustable shelving in here for all of your storage needs. Oh, you'll also notice up top, they have this LED lighting throughout and it really does a good job of lighting up the place. We were here last night at the, cause we're here at the Tampa RV show. And so you, it was really lit up pretty well in here. So I think it'll do a great job lighting the entire area. So here I am in the bedroom back here and I jumped up on the bed and I just realized I'm still wearing my jacket. I never do that in any of our videos, but it is cold here in Tampa this morning. It's 41 degrees outside, so we are freezing. There's no heat in any of these units. We turned on the fireplace when we came in, but that's about it. Anyway, back here in the bedroom, it's a really great setup. It's nice and spacious and roomy. I can sit up in here even as I move towards the head of the bed. I haven't hit my head on the ceiling. I'm, I'm about that far away, but you know, you can see I can sit up in bed and it's pretty comfortable back here. Now on my left hand side, they have a wardrobe closet built in here with mirrored doors. If you don't like the mirrored doors, they'll change them over to wood for you if you prefer. I'm a little uncomfortable sleeping next to a mirror personally, uh, but because I had an experience at a Cracker Barrel that I really don't want to talk about. Behind me here, you have a nice headboard up here. 
they can install that or not for you. There's another customer that wanted to have a tilt-to-bed installed in here, so they're not having the shelf built in, but you can get it either way. There's reading lights on either corner, and there's also receptacles and USB ports on either corner as well. Now, above me here, there's a skylight that opens up. You can pull the screen closed, get some fresh air in here. You can close the privacy shade and block it off if you'd like. But there's also a window on the one side, so you can get some cross breeze coming through here if you like. And the TV is right at the end of the bed, so it's in a perfect spot for laying in bed and relaxing and watching TV while you drift off to sleep. Now let's get a measurement on this bed and see how big it is back here. I am 99% sure we're looking at a king size bed. So let's see how big this mattress is that's in here. And it looks to be just about, well, it is 80 inches long and uh, 72 inches wide, as I suspected. So this is a true king size bed back here. Now you could also go with a queen size mattress back here if you want a little smaller bed and they can add more cabinetry in on that side of the bedroom for you for your clothes storage. So the bottom line is they have a lot of options that are available that are willing to work with you and help to customize your camper to make it just the way you like it. Now here I am in the shower, which is located, uh, the bathroom's located between the bedroom and the living area up front. And uh, the great thing about this is that it is a dry bath. And so when you're in the shower, uh, you just close this retractable shower door and there you go. Now the shower in here is very nice. I like the shower surround that they've gone with. It looks nice and luxurious, gives you that faux marble look. They put an upgraded shower head in here as well. And then, like I mentioned, it's got the retractable shower door. So just a great setup for your shower. Now, height-wise in here, let's take a look at that for a second. You guys all know I'm 5'11", but height room in here is about 6 feet 6 inches in the shower up into the skylight and the ceiling height throughout this rig is about six feet six inches so for your taller folks you know this might be a really good truck camper for you because at least you have an 80 inch king bed as well so plenty of room because that's the largest size that you could get now susan and i are going to switch spots and we'll show you the rest of the bathroom now susan and i just switched spots and to my right here is a door that's closed this is normally uh, held open by magnets up against the shower when no one's using the bathroom. But if you need some privacy in here, you can grab this door and put it in the closed position and that creates a little separation between the living area and the bathroom. There's also a pocket door to separate the bathroom from the bedroom. So you can always have privacy in your bathroom. Now the, the uh, vanity in here and the medicine cabinets are fantastic. These are Nice big mirrored doors with plenty of room above for all your personal items. Lots of room on the countertop behind the sink. So that's a really nice feature because you can put your, you know, toothbrush, shaver, I don't know, soaps, things like that on the countertop behind here and they're not in your way of using the sink. So that's a really great placement. There's also a receptacle on the side of the cabinet. So if you need to plug in a blow dryer or a shaver or anything like that, you can do that too. And then there's even more storage underneath of the vanity sink. Now, here I am sitting on the commode. And so um, if I was gonna try to pass the elbow test in here, I couldn't do it on this side, but I've got plenty of room on my left. So here we are at the back of this truck camper underneath of the slide out where the theater seating was located. And it's got this really nice large storage compartment. And of course they have a MoRide storage tray in here that comes out so you can easily access all of your camping gear. Also outside on the back end of this camper is another storage compartment. And in this storage compartment, that's where your black tank control is. You also have an outdoor shower here. They also have receptacles and even a cable TV location here. So you're all set with whatever you wanna do. Now your black tank also drains from underneath of here. And then they even have a little separate storage compartment just for your sewer hose. Hey guys, let us know which one of these truck campers you like the most and why in the comments down below. We would love to hear from you. And if you're interested in seeing even more truck campers, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.